How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Moment of Sanity here. Today, oh boy, today we're... We're just gonna jump right into the freaking third installment of the Lonely Wolf Treat series. I'm literally recording this, like, five minutes after I recorded the previous episode. So anyways, let's just jump right into Clever Fox Moxie, because I don't know how to transition from that. Uh, let's just jump right in, I guess. Sit back, relax, and let's dive right into the experience. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, okay. That final scene right there. Um. I'm kind of liking where this is turning. I'm really beginning to really like how this is turning. This beginning. All right. Anyways, wow, you look like a freaking mess. <laughs> huh? Oh, why did I dream something like that? I haven't seen either of them in like a week. Dindin's probably. It. No, I'm sure she hates me. Ugh. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. It's better to forget the whole thing ever happened. Moxie's doing just fine today. Oh, you speak in third person for some reason. Mind if I take a look around? It's full of tissues and empty chip bags. Alright. Wow. Even your running speed is a little bit slow. Then again, you probably just gotta get dressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I choose the uh, option? Fine, I'll get dressed. There we go, now I look more presentable. And I'm actually moving faster. Nothing to say about the plant. Lamp. Not exciting. Unexciting. Just a lamp. Hmm. Bed. My favorite place. Right there with you, sister. It's a letter from Mom. Mo Moxie, I'll get straight to the point. It's time for you to start making payments in the previously agree agreed upon amount. You have only been renting that old building for two months now, and yet you've already fallen behind in this regard. I can imagine you've been sucking on the upkeep as well, given your record. I cannot and will not be lenient with you just because you are my child. If you're unable to make any payments by the end of the month, I'll be forced to put the property back on the market. Please inform me as soon as you've made your decision, that is all. Best wishes, Mother. Ruthless as ever, huh, Mom? Fine, fine, I'll find a way to get your stupid money. Alrighty then. Chai, my buddy, my pal, good old Chai, how's it going? Fine. Have you heard about your money troubles? That sucks. Uh, you know what I'm here for. And how about it? Think you could uh, lend me a little? Can't. Useless! What do you want? Yikes, I was just saying hi. What's got you extra mad this morning? Morning? It's like way past noon, you lazy trash. I'm ex I'm upset because we didn't get any curry last night. Well, yeah. Would have been weird for the little bun buns to want to feed us after what happened. <sighs> like it's our fault. Obviously we weren't going to do it. You guys seem pretty close to me. I wish it's super hard to kill someone just like that. Turns out we're big old softies just like you, Moxie. Why are you turning this around to me? You two don't deserve curry nights. Alright, might as well head on outside and see what's up. And it's snowing. Again. I'm tired of this crappy weather. Let it be spring already. Again. It's like the opposite of Florida here. Jeez. Foxy Den. The Y was spray painted on by yours truly. Pretty good. I'm sorry, but what the hell is happening here? What do you mean we can't pass? As I said, your kind is no longer allowed in this town. You'll have to find somewhere else. But we used to come here every year. Why would the rules suddenly change? An incident last week led to the decision. Unfortunately, I can't disclose any more details than that. We don't have anything to do with your stupid incident. This discrimination! Exactly! Why wouldn't you let the freaking cats in? Screw you! Let's just go back to the station. We can't figure out it. We can figure out another vacation spot from here, okay? 
No, Frosting is the nicest and cutest town on the mountain. I told you we're staying here, so gosh darn it, we are doing just that. Now let us in! Sorry, ma'am, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. I didn't want to raise a fuss. So we have to find somewhere else to stay? Fine. We don't know if Frosting a business if they are going to suddenly treat us this way. <laughs> I smell an opportunity. You two are in luck! I just happened to run it in just across the tracks. Oh, you two? Thank goodness, problem solved. You don't look like someone who would own an inn. I'm not convinced. Oh, allow me to show you the way. I assure you, it's a very cozy establishment. You should check it out. Nothing to stop you from harassing this poor man. Yes, allow me and Moxie to show you. Phew, I'm saved. Thank you, little fox lady. <laughs> I'm the superhero of the day here. Here we are. This is my Foxy Lodge. Sign says Foxy Den. Wait, is this spray paint? Uh, don't mind that. We're getting a place very soon. Um, I think we should give this place a chance. That's a nice. It's a nice looking building. Might be big, but it looks a little sketchy to me. That's yeah, rustic charm, my friends. Now let's get you to other cold. Follow me inside. I don't think it's a good idea. Ever since that big scandal all those years ago, I still don't trust any hotels run by foxes. Why I order? <clears throat> My foxy lodge has nothing to do with the wild fox hotel chain. You have absolutely no reason to be afraid. Wait, weren't those the hotels smaller animals got eaten up where smaller animals got eaten up by hotel staff? That was a rumor! And this place has nothing to do with any of that. Even so it might be risky for us to stay in a place like this. I much prefer a cute, cuddly, a cute, cuddly rabbit town. People there always seem to be a little scared of us, though. What? You're saying you'd rather be preyed on than have someone be scared of you? I don't know. Do foxes really eat cats? I wouldn't but pass them. You cry about discrimination and then talk like this right in front of me? Fine. New angle. This hotel's got a gimmick. Wanna hear it? What kind of gimmick? <laughs> Follow me. Well, what is this? Some kind of theme hotel? Doesn't look like it. Truth is, this lodge actually puts on an old show for its guests. What kind of show? Um, a mystery! And you two should stay here tonight! Uh, and you two should stay here tonight. Should... I cannot speak! And you two, should you stay here tonight, we'll try to get to solve it. A mystery, huh? Alright, I'm interested. What's the mystery about then? It's... A murder mystery! I'll pretend, of course. Yo, Moxie, what you going on about? I need you guys to help me out. I'm reeling them in, so play along. What's in it for us? You can be the murderer. By Pepper. Moxie really knows the way to your heart. Alright, if I get to kill Salt, I'm in. Perfect! So, how about it? Are the two of you brave enough to catch the culprit? <gasps> Do we have to? Absolutely! Wonderful! Here's your room key. If you go just up the stairs, it'll be the first room you'll see. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll let you pay us only after we've satisfied your entertainment needs, alright? The room is free if you don't manage to impress us. We can't refuse a deal like that. We'll take it! And we'll solve your mystery in record time! She's really worked up now. We won't disappoint. Just give us a few hours to prepare. It's uh, been a while since we've come to do a show. Oh, of course, thank you. We look forward to it. <laughs> I did it! As I was making it up. I was just making it up as I went along. But no, I'm totally gonna get to keep this place. It's a little soon to be celebrating, don't you think? <gasps> Oof. <laughs> Me. I have to put together a mystery for them! Why didn't I just make the pay up front? Now there's all this extra pressure, what am I doing? Hey, you'll put something together. You're always getting it together, Moxie. Sounds right. You've got... You're nothing... You're nothing if not resourceful. You've scraped together the money to set this place up. You'll probably be able to keep it going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just gotta search around this place for ideas. Great. I'll be... Uh, We'll be here when you figure it out, I guess. Right, thanks for the help. We're rooting for you, champ. Come chat me up if you're feeling helpless. Alright then. 
Okay, we gotta find something around this damn place. Alright, I'm stumped here. What do you got? What's up, Bragaroonie? Who oh, knew where to start? Give me a direction to look in. Why not see what you can find upstairs? I don't mind if you search our room. So, don't you just casually give her permission to take our stuff? Uh, you're not even gonna have a room for me to take stuff from if I can't hold this off. Yeah, that ought to get him to shut up. Yeah, you're not even gonna have a room anytime soon. Yeah? Jesus, look at sand! There's some good props in somewhere. I just have to dig around a bit. Something's on... I just... I just moved one inch. Something's under here. <gasps> Whoa, what is a scary knife? Oh, huh, there's just a joke one. Slides, slides into the handle to make your stabs look convincing. This is exactly the kind of murder weapon I had in mind. Salt's old comedy props sure come in handy. What is he, Sans? Hmm, but the killer needs a disguise. I think I got something we could use in my room. Hold on, I gotta check around just in case. Wow, this bed actually looks even neater than yours. That's surprising. Man, I wish I had... Man, I wish I had a double bed. I think I know why you, why you wish you had a double bed. Allow me to check into my le room. Anything on my bed? Nope. Well, maybe I could use that. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, the spooky mask will you. <laughs> Wait a minute, where? Why do you just have a spooky mask? Well, I need some fake blood. I know what. And I think I know just what to buy. Hey, got any tomato sauce? I need fake blood for a show. Sure, you can buy it. Oh, come on, I'm doing this to keep a roof over our heads. Can't give away any handouts, dude. Right now, I honestly need handouts more than ever, but fine. Well, I have five bucks. Cats up. <laughs> Quality. Anything else in this damn place? Thanks, Chai. Really feeling the support here. Oh yeah, good luck with the thing. Why am I the only one taking this seriously? At least, ah, at least now I have all the essentials. This place could use some decorating to help set the mood. Try the back room behind the fireplace. Oh, good thinking. You're not useless after all. <laughs> well, that's not weird. Wait, there's a hidden room. All right, secret passage. Um, hmm? switches. What's this one do? Ah, the lights went out. Moxie, you forgot to pay the bill. If you forgot to pay the bills, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, my bad. I'll fix it. So, a little remote. You can control the lights in this place, huh? How convenient! Now that I can actually see, I wonder what I'll find in here. Alright. Let's check behind. Let's check in drawer number one! All the drawers are empty. Damn it! Hmm? This box. Yeah, yeah, I can use these old costumes. And all these black tart thingies. Now I have all the decorations I'll ever need. Hold on, I've got all the props, special effects, and my actors, of course, and now decorations for atmosphere. This means... I have everything I need? I'll really be able to put on a show for those cats? And make money? Is it possible? Could I really pull this off? I, could I really? Be the owner of the greatest murder mystery theater slash hotel in the whole country? Moxie is great. Moxie's gonna save her. Moxie's gonna save her friends. And the best of all, Moxie's gonna beat your expectations, Mom. <laughs> no matter what challenges you throw on me, I've always been able to make my way through them. Invincible Moxie! Oh, ha uh -huh. Now, I just need to set all this up and get my lackeys in the costume now. It's showtime! Two hours of setup and rehearsal later. Welcome, esteemed guests. To Madame Saltworth. Oh. <clears throat> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, yeah, this is Moxie. Never mind! Welcome, esteemed guest, to Madame Saltworth's most magnificent birthday celebration. So, has the murder happened yet? When do we get to solve the mystery? Murder? Why, whatever could you mean, madam? We should get into character. That isn't the kind of question a guest should ask. Oh, so we're involved in the drama, too? I love this! <laughs> uh, uh, yes, hello, good day, chap. What kind of character was that? Please excuse my partner, she's quite eccentric. 
Eccentric! I'm downright insane! Let's get this party started! I appreciate your enthusiasm. Please come right this way and partake, and partake in the festivities. I'm happy you can make it to my 18th birthday. Soon I'll be wedded to my fiancé and he will own half of my estate. Half of your estate? What a lucky fellow! After all, Madame Saltsworth, you're one of the richest young women in the entire world. Oh wait, this character was a girl the entire time and I've been... I can't not, I can't do freaking voice changes like this! Ho ho ho, you flatter me, Miss Moxiella. Ho 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 ho. As your guess, we hope to beat the odds and... And have a <gasps> as your guests, we hope to beat the odds and have we hope you beat the odds and have a long and happy marriage. Your well wishes mean the world to me. Guess whose names I do not know. We should keep a close eye on Madame Salisworth. I have a feeling she'll be the one who. Oh my! Uh, who could have turned off the lights? Uh, allow me to remedy the situation. Hmm. Uh, yes, I'm fixing it now. Oh mother of. <laughs> Oh no, a tragedy has befallen on a birthday girl! I wish not ca couldn't catch the killer before they had a chance to strike. It would've made things easier. <laughs> I've been stabbed. <laughs> this is the end for me. I'm dead now. Madam Saltworth, who could have done such a thing? My love! Say it isn't so! We have such a lovely flower plucked from this earth! <laughs> <laughs> what a cru what cruel fate has this world bestowed on you? I curse it! Curse you, cruel, foul fate! What is this, Shakespeare? So you're the fiancé? My condolences. If I may ask, did your dearly departed lover have any enemies, perchance? What are you asking him that for? Oh, it's obvious he's the killer. He wanted the estate all to himself. They would have had to get married before he could take everything. Killing our first doesn't make sense. Hey, you have to, you really could have figured this stuff out. Psst, until I off again so I can kill the wit witnesses and make my getaway. Aha! Ah, suspicious individual! Is it you? You did it, didn't you? Hmm. Now we have another option here. Man, these games are just getting all over the place. Last one had a full-on combat scene, now this one has some has some options. Hmm. I kind of want to see what happens. Maybe, maybe that could be good. Looks like they're onto you, Duchess Von Pepperoni. Your days are numbered, criminal. Busted. That went better than expected. <gasps> oh, how scary! Hmm. <gasps> Is this still part of the story, or do wolves come in here often? Oh uh, no, she's harmless, don't worry about it. You put on such a good show, I feel awful saying this, but... In fact, a wolf is in here, I just don't know if it's safe for me and my partner to stay after all. No, what I meant is... We haven't gotten a chance to rehearse this part of the story. That's right, it's a new edition! Uh, I guess I wasn't clear enough when I told her we aren't doing this part of the performance tonight. Sorry for the misunderstanding. So she was another actress? Thank goodness, I was really nervous. I think having some ferocious part of the cast will be really good to raise some tension in your drama. Uh, that's not to say I wasn't in, I didn't enjoy the show uh, as, as it was. You all did a wonderful job. Thanks, I'm glad you gave us a chance. It's the most fun we've had in a while. Oh, uh, should I pay you for the room now, if you take cash? Y yes, our rates usually go at $90 a night, but I'll be giving you a generous, excellent sleuth discount that'll be $75. Oh, how affordable. I'll include to tip to make it an even hundred. Really? Wow, thank you so much! You've all earned it. Good night, then. I, I made a hundred bucks today. We actually did it! Yippee. Yippee is right! If we keep this... If we keep this up, I could even own this place one day. Sure, but uh, before that, shouldn't you clear this up with your other actress? Uh, uh, right. Hey, uh, I'm sure you held all that, huh? Huh? Uh, it was just, uh, um, I was just, uh... It's really... It's not really any of your business what's going on here. I mean, more importantly, 
Treat, you better have a good reason for coming in here without warning. I was this close to losing my guests. We're out of food. Okay, well, that actually is a pretty good reason. Sorry for coming in at a bad time. No, it's... it's whatever. I'm not actually mad. Clerk is gone. Can I still buy something? Nah, no, just take it. I'll pay Chai back as soon as they notice what's missing. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. <coughs> Oxy, come here a sec. You're not dead, so you could at least get up if you got something to say. Ah, never mind. I just thought so would mention what happened last week. Sorry, I won't come in here anymore if that's a problem. No, 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 forget about that. It's all water under the bridge. Uh, visit our store as much as you want. Oh, great. Glad that's settled. Now my spirit can rest in peace. Goodbye, world. Stay alive for like two more minutes. What am I supposed to do, dude? This is so awkward. You should probably start by not asking a corpse for advice. Thanks for the food. I'm going home now. She's getting away! You are the cat! We need a big scary wolf to impress our future guests! So tell her that. But things are all complicated! I can't ask for the favors! Hey now, where'd your Moxie brand overconfidence go? Never seen you hesitate like this. You're right, I gotta be bold! That's the Moxie way! Holy crap, that's a, this is actually a pretty lengthy game. Yep, always charging forward. That's why you're the hero and I'm the one lying <laughs> dead on the floor. <laughs> Anyways! Treat! Uh... How the hell did you get here? Uh, oh good, you're still here. Seemed like you had something you wanted to say. Right, uh... Do you think maybe... <clears throat> uh, let me... Uh, let me start over. Uh, running an in-type deal now and doing some cool theater stuff for our guests. I think you'd be perfect for the role of Big Bad Wolf. You really think I'm suited for a role like that? Come on, don't make that face. You're the only wolf I know. Do you expect me to look for a bear or something instead? I don't really think it's a good idea. Try and use someone because you think they'll be scary. Why not? People love the tension. And shouldn't I aim for the best production possible? Besides, it's not that I personally think you're scary. It's just, you know, everyone is afraid of wolves. I I'm playing... I'm playing to that fear. I can't work for you. I already have a job. What? Where? Since when? The hot springs a few days ago. Oh, then my star is already stolen. Then my star was already stolen away before the spotlight could even reach her. What's the whole Moxie to do? It seemed like everyone had fun the way it was. Why do you have to change it? Because I can't just settle for good. I have to be better. Hmm. Hmm, if you can't do it, maybe I'll lift the stakes by the opposite direction on the food chain. It's the same problem. It'll just make foxes look worse. What do you care? Just think about it. Evil foxes versus a little bunny? Your girlfriend would be... <laughs> would be really cute in that role. But no, it isn't like that. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. You suddenly... You suddenly moved in together and you're telling me nothing's going on here? We're just friends. And she wouldn't want to be in that kind of role either. Okay, bye then. Jeez. Why bother waiting out here if you didn't secretly want to help me out? There's nothing wrong with trying to do what's expected of you, that's how I made it here. Whatever, this is fine. My cast can stay foxes only. The show must go on after all. Six weeks later, ooh boy, jump cut in half. Another wonderful day to be Moxie. Let's get out there and do our best. Oh, it's oddly quiet. Sure, we haven't had any guests in a while, but where the heck are all my friends? Hell's going on here? Where'd they go? Letter of Red. Oh no! That can't be right. Good one, guys. Uh, let's see how far this joke goes. Oxy, this is a letter from all of us. Short story is, we quit. So yeah. We're not actors. Well, Chai is, but we don't want to do the mystery murder thing anymore. You're barely scraping by, and it's not going to get any better. It's just kind of a waste, really. We followed you out here in the first place to eat rabbits, and that turned out to be a bust. All we did was make them build a wall to keep us out, so that was lame. We gave you a chance for a pretty long time, considering the way we were, so you're welcome. See you back in Ginseng when you finally give up. Pepper and the others. Oh, that was Pepper that... 
damn it! <laughs> what? This is a little mean of a joke. Hey, sorry for letting Pepper write hers first. Figured it'd be a bummer. And it was. Uh, you've got me to pick up the pieces. I'll begin by saying Madame Saltsworth wishes her sincerest farewells. And you know how bad I am at the whole drama thing, but you always let, let me put in my own brand of humor anyway. You're pretty good at this theater stuff, Moxie. Now I pursue that instead. Go be a big shot actress or even a director. You probably don't want to come back to ginseng, so sorry for not saying goodbye in person. I'll miss you, pal. Oh. You should come home. <laughs> wow, that's it? Damn. Those guys. No. Uh, they should have realized going home isn't an option for me. I'll just have to work even harder. Time to find a brand new cast. Then, when everyone hears about how great the Foxy Lodge is going, they'll all come begging to hear, begging me for their old jobs back. Ha! Huh. Moxie is unbreakable. Moxie is not an unreliable quitter like her friends. No, of course not. This little setback ain't stopping me. If I just need to hire and rehearse with two or three people who are willing to drop everything and work for little to no money. Well, I could just put on a, some kind of new spin for the Foxy Lodge. A one-man show? Bed and breakfast? No, I can't cook whatsoever. What I need is inspiration. I'll go enjoy the fresh mountain air. Man, I haven't had a day off in forever. This is a blessing in disguise. Oh no, even the weather is gloomy. I figures it'd be cloudy on my day off. I am not letting it get me down though. Let's go get inspired. How are you? Ah, uh, they wouldn't let me in. Maybe I should just go home. Oh, they're looking for a place to stay? Ah, oh, no, sorry, I was just talking to myself. How about Frosting, huh? So they wouldn't even let in a harmless little mouse in. I understand how they feel, though. I'm from a mice-only village, but the outside world isn't as scary as you'd think. Sure isn't. But obviously, if you wanted to stick around here for the night, my place has a lot of vacancies. Picking up strangers? Maybe the world is more dangerous than I thought. It isn't like that! I run a hotel! Oh, still, no thank you. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, you got another thing to say? Oh, fine. Oh, now it's freaking raining! Oh, rain, really? I guess I'll wait inside the hot springs until it clears up. Fine, I'll go in here. Good, m good morning. What awful weather, am I right? Eh. Oh, I'm supposed to see me here. I know, I don't give myself many breaks. I can't really afford to, honestly. You have some nerve showing your face here, Miss Fox. Huh? What's the problem? I'm gonna say, all this time you never considered our feelings as expected of a backstabber like you. Backstabber? What are you accusing me of? You set up an in to take advantage of the situation of frosting when you, when you knew perfectly well we were already here. Did you come to rub all the stolen business in our faces? Why else would you have avoided coming here for so long? You got it all wrong! I've, I've just been busy! Busy disrespecting our struggling hot springs? Shame on you, Miss Fox. I'm telling you, that's not why I- Ugh. Why can't I even- I can't even go somewhere nice to relax, can I? Treat! You'll set the story straight, won't you? Tell them I'm innocent. Hmm? What did you do? I didn't do anything, that's the whole point! Oh, forget it, there's something more important for us to talk about. Um... Treat my buddy, my pal! You're a true friend, aren't you? The kind who wouldn't abandon me overnight without any warning. Anyway, I've got some positions to fill. Do you remember what I asked you before? If I change the story, do you think you'd reconsider my offer? I'm still working here. Won't change your mind even to help a friend? Do they have you under some kind of harsh contract? Is that why- Trying to steal our employee now, too? How long will this fox- How low will this fox sink? Everyone has problems, okay? Like, you even understand- <laughs> oh, I can't speak. Everyone has problems, okay? Like, you even understand what I'm dealing with right now. What I mean is, I don't understand you and be insulted like this. Goodbye. Hmm. Could we have been too aggressive with her? Poor thing. Them's the breaks, Annie. Our business- the business world is a ruthless one. Well, screw you! What happened? We've seen a decline in guests for the past several weeks assumed to be due to that Fox's mystery theater gimmick. 
She made quite a scene, but she was trying to sabotage us. There's no reason to feel bad for her. It sounds like her friends left. It's raining really hot out, that's why I came back inside. Miss Fox, please forgive our rudeness. Would you mind explaining your side of things? Depending on what you have to say, you'll provide an umbrella. Depending on what you have to say, we'll provide you an umbrella for your walk home. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's nice of them to apologize and all that, but come on, I didn't deserve that. They probably assumed the worst just because I'm a fox. Rude! That's odd. What is? Why don't you tell me, from what I've seen, you're the kind of person who likes those kinds of expectations. Oh yeah? What else did she say about me? You're not very good at being bad. Huh. Yeah, I'm a failure, alright. I can't do anything as a fox. I couldn't eat a rabbit, I couldn't run a hotel, I couldn't prove to my mom that I'm not a good-for-nothing daughter. I don't know what to do now. Everyone said it was a waste of time. We barely made enough to get by, so I guess I kinda of forget it. They're allowed to get off, but me? I don't have a place to go back to anymore. I'd just be an embarrassment. It's like I'm finally being punished for setting up a place for scummy foxes like me to live it up, snacking on rabbits all day long. Moxie. It's all pretty stupid, right? You think I'm an idiot too, don't you? I don't. Come on, it won't hurt my feelings. I've heard it a million times from my mom. It isn't stupid to try your best. Hmm. Stop raining. Yeah. Hmm. Come inside. <laughs> no, I I I'd better not. Oh, she would enjoy the company. It's up to you, though. Uh. Oh, we're left up, left up with another choice here. Jeez, this is a this has been a lengthy game. Jeez, I've been recording for forty straight minutes right now. Jeez, holy crap! You know what? I'll take up the offer. You came. Hey, Mochi, long time no see. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Oh, it smells good in here. Were you cooking something? I started baking as a hobby. It'll be ready soon if you want to try some. Sounds great, I haven't eaten all day. Well, that's no good. You have to definitely stay for a while. At least until you're fed. Make yourself at home. What an old-fashioned chair. Wow, they really set this place up, jeez. Mochi's hat and coat are here, along with a bunch of other clothes. Nothing to say about that one? This must be where Treat sleeps. This fireplace kind of matches the one we have. Curtains are closed. Boring painting. Meat, carrots, curry, rice, milk, and juice boxes. They've got quite a bit of food in here. Well, I can imagine, jeez. Set up their own freaking food company here. Would you like to sit down with us? Mm, not yet. Look around as much as you'd like. I'm sorry, I must have been a bad friend, haven't I? We live so close, but I never try going out to say hello. No, I, I mean, I thought you might hate my guts or something. I've never been asked if you did. Or, I've never even asked if you did. I, I'm the bad friend. Don't be silly, of course I don't hate you, Moxie. Right. How could anyone hate me? I'm obviously great. Good, you haven't changed. You have, though. Your hair's all long and cute now, I like it. Thank you. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a change right there. All right, let's sit. Let us take a nice seat right here. Ooh, oh, that actually looks pretty damp. Whoa, I didn't even know bread could taste so awesome. I feel like I've been missing out my entire life. It's just melon pan. You've really never had it before. Yours is the first I ever had too. I never would have guessed. It's pretty popular where I grew up. No oh, cheat. You've got to keep introducing me to awesome foods like this. Oh, no, are you crying? I'm just really emotional! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, d don't be sorry. I I'm the one who ought to be apologizing. I mean, last time you fed me, I kind of derailed your life, huh? That wasn't your fault. 
But it was! If I hadn't followed you around, if me and my friends had never moved in here in the first place, it's because of me you, that you couldn't continue your happy little bunny life in Frostic and now you're miserable! What are you talking about? I'm fine, thanks to Treat, I... No, no, no. It's been bothering me this whole time. Now you're the exact opposite the way you used to be. This mopey mochi isn't the one I know. My mochi was nauseatingly cheery and worked way too hard to please everyone, and it was adorable. I'm not mopey. But she's right. Not you too, Treat. I'm really happy here. Then go outside more. You've been holed up in here for way too long. That's not fair. I've been, um, hibernating. Travis soon hibernate. <laughs> Don't love Treat. I'm being bullied. I'd better head back now. Thanks again for the food. I'm glad you liked it. Had a lot of fun talking again. I'll walk you home. The weather cleared up. Huh, yeah, it's nice. I guess we should get going then. Alrighty then, let us continue. You really don't have to walk me all the way home, you know. I won't get lost. I know, it's not far and I don't mind. Worried about me? <laughs> Moxie's just fine. By the way, you two seem like a happy couple, that's great. <clears throat> what? You're not gonna get all defensive and say you're just friends this time. Uh oh, you actually like her a lot, huh? <clears throat> you're shy! What the heck, that's really cute! I'm seriously jealous. What kind of wolf falls in love with an innocent little rabbit? Not that I want to talk. Don't say anything. I get it, I get it. You can trust me. Can I please just, like, fall the bathroom? Here we are. Well, here we are. We made it safely back to my place. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks for having me over. My day would have been, like, really terrible otherwise. Anytime. Hey, Treat. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> so, Foxy Lodge, it's about time we had a talk. I think we've outgrown each other. It's time for me to move on. No, nope, I won't hear any objections. But, Foxy, you can't. Where will you go? Who will, you, who will shelter you from the elements? What will you tell Mom? I'll be okay, Foxy Lodge, and so will you, under new management, and someone else has loving hands. No, Moxie, you can't do this to us. There's no us. I'm going to... I'm going home to make things final. I'll never forget the past three and a half months. And don't think I'd forget about you either, Frosting. I'll be back to get down your stupid wall, you'll see. So wait, Moxie is just gone now? No! Honestly, she was one of my favorite. Ah, fine. Damn it. Well, that was the third installment of the Lonely Wolf Treat series. Holy crap. That was a freaking long ass game. 40, 40, almost 50 minutes of recording. Jeez, I can only imagine, like, the other games. Jeez. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace off. See ya. Uh, pe peace out. See ya.